Um, I'm Erin yeah. with Mozilla. It's nice to meet you. Um, so what I'm showing you here is um, a Galaxy S2, and we've just flashed this for demo purposes. Okay. Um, so everything you see on our lock screen here is all HTML5. As I open up the lock screen, you see our home screen, and everything here is HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. So it's completely customizable. Um, we're working with OEMs and carriers, and um, basically this project is about empowering um, the current technology of the web and filling the blanks so that it's relevant in the mobile ecosystem. So the way we're doing that is we are introducing open APIs that we're working with the W3C to standardize and implement. Um, and the most interesting one that I can start with is the telephony API, which empowers our dialer. Um, so again, this is just our Gaia interface that we came up with um, before the show, and it's just CSS, so it's completely customizable. Okay. Um, if you can make a web page or a modern web app, you can make an app for Boot Gecko. So here I'll just show you how the dialer works. It's really simple. Again, just really clean interface. I push the call button, and you can see we have simple functionality like mute, speaker, and hold. We also have our contacts API, and here's the interface. You can see our address book. And because this is all native, it's really responsive to the touch, and the UI moves quickly. We also have instant messaging. This is our instant messaging client. We're using our own um, SMS API too. So I can say C. As I type, you can also see our, um, our keyboard UI. Additionally, we are using um, the GPS API for maps. And here we have Google Maps. And going back to the dialer for a second, you can see that the source code is live. So um, oh. if I can show you here, you can see that we're just using JavaScript to expose the API. Uh, yes. So it's really lightweight. There's not, we're not using a lot of memory. The footprint is really low. We're also using the camera API to take advantage of the camera functionality on the phone. Let's give the sensor a second. We also have photos, photo gallery. So you can take, use the camera to take photographs and store your images. And as you can see, the transitions look really nice. Again, it's just really smooth. And because it's very lightweight, things are a lot more responsive. We also have our video API, and we're just using HTML5 technology. It's nothing proprietary, totally open source. Um, this isn't Flash, this isn't anything special. Um, here are just some simple video controls that we programmed through HTML5. They're just video tags. Okay. You can see here, again, it's just HTML5. So um, as part of this platform, we're really pushing HTML5 apps, right? Um, so the, uh, Mozilla is introducing a marketplace. Um, so we're working, actively working with apps developers to um, move their apps over just to a simple HTML5 platform, and we're introducing the marketplace for distribution so developers can monetize and distribute their apps. And um, this is just a mock-up, but um, we launched um, the ability to um, submit your apps as a couple days ago. So if you're a developer and interested in working with Mozilla um, and you have an app ready, you can submit it. This will launch later in the year. Okay. So, I mean, we're really serious about the platform and we're working with um, partners such as Facebook and other folks such as Basecamp um, so they can get a jump start on the platform and we can create a really robust ecosystem for our users. Here's our settings API and as you can see we have our do not track feature that we have um, pioneered in Firefox, our browser. Um, and again, I just wanted to show you because it is so lightweight, it's extremely responsive, so um, I push the restart button and you can see it was just instantly off. And you can see that the phone will reboot and load the UI really quickly.